It's okay. Producer Vaughn and I roll down here for River City Live. We are at Magic Kingdom. We're at Walt Disney World, the happiest place on Earth. Right now, it's probably the hottest place on Earth, too. But we are here for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We're giving you a little behind-the-scenes action. Y'all hang with us. Let's go. So that was actually the day after we arrived for the big event, the opening of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So let's rewind. Well, I got to the meetup on time. Actually, Renz, I was there a little early. Now we're just waiting for Renz. Guess whose birthday it is? Donald, am I invited to the after party at least? Yep. I am? All right. I got one more guy coming. He's late. He's late. He's late to the party. Rance, you got to get here, man. You're supposed to be on time. And we got our tickets to the after party now. You heard it from the duck himself. Look who's finally here. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Late. Whatever, Vaughn. When I arrive, I'm always on time. Continue. But we had an awesome guy to keep us in check. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to show up or give his full name. But Gary, trust me, buddy, you will always be in our hearts. <laughs> and from then, things elevated. And I might have been a fanboy a wee bit, but Phineas and Ferb, they hyped me up back in the day. So seeing him in person, I can't even lie. It really made hey me man, feel like a kid again. I'm in heaven. Y'all see Phineas in the background tripping out. Hey, guys, where's Perry? After that, we hopped on the bus and headed to Epcot. Quick note, once we landed, we walked, folks. I forgot my knee brace. Our dude Gary literally blew out his shoe before we got too deep. He sold his soul to hang with RCL. We milked that all weekend. So we walked. A lot. Our goal to land at the American Adventures Pavilion for the grand opening of Portraits of Courage, a Commander-in-Chief's tribute to America's warriors. These portraits were done by the former President George W. after his term ended in the Oval. Quality work, my friend. From one artist to another. Rance needed a walker heading over to the Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza. It was hot and my leg was dragging Quasimodo style, but I made it and it was worth it. They had a layout of food and drinks representing some of the areas around Epcot. We also got to see the debut performance of Celebration and Canto. The music and energy had everyone feeling the groove, but I was a bit confused about some of the guests attending from New Orleans and wearing all white. Come on, Rance. Where was the Princess and the Frog base? Ah, uh, well, I get it now. I'm always a little slow on the uptake. Well, you recognized everybody. What you mean? I lived in New Orleans, baby. You had Cameron Jordan there. So last time I saw him was what? Probably about four or five years ago at the time. Free COVID. Keep pushing. <laughs> Keep pushing. So next time you come to Duval, you gonna scream out Duval? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Nola? Absolutely not. Hey, Over James, Arizona? I tried. They had T.I. and Tiny's Toya Johnson there, and then you also had Yandy from Love and Hip Hop. The home team was definitely represented with T-Roy and Easy e from 93.3 to beat. Hold up, hold up. You might see him on TV. You might see him on Instagram, but I get to see him in real life. Hey, yo, that T-Roy, a straight-up clown. And we still weren't done. Nope, more walking. And then we landed at World Showcase Plaza for Luminous, the Symphony of Us. If you haven't been to Epcot since Thanksgiving, here's a teaser of what you can expect. Sound up. Vaughn, don't give them everything. Rance, you just said sound up. Anyway, after that show, we called it a night. Had to rest up for the big spectacle the next day. The big spectacle and more walking. But I'm stoked. We'll have our Tiana Bayou Adventure experience soon. I'm Rance Adams. With producer Vaughn. For River City. Wow. Ah.